and then you can take the first layer of the material and basically press it into that and it'll hold around that tricky shape and then let that piece just set there for a little while. You have a nice little three layer end cap. Now you don't want to here just as a little you don't want to move it around. You want to just get this. Right, somebody use dry hands. Can somebody take scissors so just dab them over there and uh, trim me off the piece that I'm going to reuse? The other thing is when we're doing this, this isn't ideal because it's pushing air. What you want to do is you want to push air out. So we're going to use this new technique. So, uh, yeah, just um, so be careful on as soon as I can go and set the layup. Instead of dabbing it, it's like a question mark. I just turn it off. Are you going to put a piece of glass on the top? Nope. No. No. Okay, now wait. Let's get all of it done. We've got plenty of room. Trim. There's no chance that that's not fully wet out. We've got all kinds of extra dirt. Right. Rather than trying to force epoxy through the fibers into the layer below, right. you can watch what happens right here in the back. That's fine. Okay. I, I was actually thinking of cutting it closer, so no worries at all. Now we're going to use another tricky little tool for you. Vacuum bagging. Oh. Ouch. All it really does is it consolidates the layer. And consolidating it causes excess epoxy to come up out of, out of it, right? So why don't we consolidate this manually? Oh, there's a roller. All right. All right. Force air bubbles out, and I'm compacting the laminate. Notice how it's nice, it's starting to look evenly saturated, right? And look at all the excess that now sits on the top of this, right? So now, So instead of putting on yet more epoxy as a bedroom, we are going to use the available epoxy to saturate this layer to make it lighter and stronger. Appropriately ratioed. And so look how look how the surface of this is nearly as cool as the puddle looking. Alright? Now the only difference is um, just as a future thing, you don't want to ever it's not like it's wrong if you're gonna trim this off anyway, but if you ended up accidentally mismeasuring and you part of our part is it. <laughs> It wouldn't be bad, it's just like, oops, what happened? Well, I put the... Right? But it's all strictly aesthetic, so... Okay, now see? Now here to the... Now this is going to be a nice... Right? And the back side is going to look just like this. What kind of roller is that? Is that specific to... For this type of job, because it has groove. Uh, the catalog. <laughs> it's made for doing this. And look at that, plenty of epoxy. And look at that, we made, we put on two, three layers with two amounts of, right. So without this, 
you would have been putting more epoxy in, more epoxy in, more epoxy in. So how much more would it have weighed? It would have weighed that much more. Maybe half as much as that much yeah. more. And it would have been as strong as it is now. So it's like, and I mean, like I said, I'm exaggerating to make the point. It's not like it would have been weak. But you don't need it. 